Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print hundreds or even thousands of envelopes with the different addresses in Microsoft Word. Meanwhile, I have also made a tutorial on how to create hundreds of letters with the same content but addressed to different individuals. The link of that particular video is given in the description. Let's start. In order to create and print hundreds of envelopes in Microsoft Word, first you need to head over to the mailings on your ribbon. On the left here you can see we have this option create envelope. You might be tempted to use this particular option but the option that we are going to use lies over here in start mail merge option. Here you can see we have this option envelopes. Simply click over it and over here in the envelope options we have different envelope sizes. You can see size 11, 12, 14 and 10. The most commonly used size is size 10. I'm going to choose size 10 for this particular demonstration. Down here we have this delivery address and return address. If you click on font, you would be taken to a new window where you can change the font, font style, size and a bunch of other options. I'm going to stick with the default options. On the right, you can see we have this option from left from top. By default, both the options are set at default, but if you click over here, you can see we can actually nudge the address to either direction by clicking on up and down arrow. And similarly, from the top, you can either move it up or move it down right from here. I'm going to stick with the auto option. And same is true about this return address. You can change the font as well as the position of the return address on the envelope. The next option that you see over here is printing options. By default, the printer attached to your computer would be shown over here. Here you can see we have been given different options about feed method. You can either use face up or face down like this. You can also use this option clockwise rotation. And down at the bottom, we have this option feed from automatically. Only one default tray automatically select. I'm going to select automatically select option and leaving the other options at a default. As soon as I would click on OK, you would see there is going to be a change in the page layout. Let me show you. Click on OK. You can see the orientation of the page has changed. Let me minimize it to show you. Now you can see it looks like an envelope. Now here we can type our return address. Let me put in a dummy address. So here I have typed my return address. Although invisible, if you click over here, you can see we have this text box where you can insert the address of the person to which the letter inside the envelope would be sent. Now you can go over here into select recipient and here we have these options. Type a new list, use an existing list, choose from Outlook contacts. Typing a new list would make this tutorial useless. Here we are going to use this particular option, use an existing list. But before that, let me show you the list that I have created inside Microsoft Excel. And here is the list. You can see we have first name, last name, company name, business address, city, state and zip code and a few of the names given over here. Although this is a pretty short list, but it is possible that you may have a list extending over thousands of rows. Let's get back to Microsoft Word. Head over again into select recipient, use an existing list and I'm going to choose the list that I have shown you. And here is our list. I'm going to click on open and there you can see sheet one. Inside this Excel workbook, I have only one sheet. So the option is straightforward. Before tapping the OK option, make sure you check this first row of data contains column headers. Our data does contain column headers and you can see over here. Further, you can see over here, these options highlight merge field, etc. are grayed out. But as soon as we are going to click on OK, they would become active. Now, if we click right over here in address block, you can see we have all these options of addresses given. And if you click over here, you can see we can go through all the addresses given in our Microsoft Excel sheet. But if you look closely, you can see there is one thing missing. Let me show you. And the missing option was this business address. You can see all these business addresses are missing in our address in Microsoft Word. So how we can do that? Simply click over here, go to match field option and in address one, simply click over here and choose this option business address. Click over here. Click on OK and now over here you can see the street address has been inserted into the address. 
let me go back to first address scroll through different address and you can see all the addresses are good and okay however i'm gonna cancel it out from here and i'm gonna show you even easier method to insert all these addresses simply click over here in this text box go to insert merge field click on first name last name and let me press enter and i'm gonna insert company name and similarly i would insert business address and finally i'm gonna insert city state and zip code now if you move your cursor right over here into preview results you can see the address of the first person has been inserted successfully over here and if you click on this particular arrow it would show you all the addresses of the people given in our excel worksheet but before clicking on finish and merge let me get back to first address you can also insert the company logo onto the envelope as well let me double click over here i'm going to click on insert pictures this device and i'm going to choose this company logo right over here and there we have it simply go to wrap text in front of the text and let me make it smaller like this put it right over here and similarly if you want to include any other details you can also do that now we are almost finished with creating multiple envelopes go to mailing again finish and merge option and here you can see we have these three options edit individual documents print documents send email messages for this tutorial we are not going into the detail of sending email messages if you are interested i have made a separate video for that whose link is in description you must watch that as well edit individual documents if you click over here you can choose the option either to create only a few envelopes by giving the number from here to here if you click on all multiple envelopes with different addresses would be created over here i'm going to click on cancel right now let me show you the other option the other option is print documents simply click over here and here i'm going to choose this current record just to make sure that everything that i have put in over here is correct so simply click on ok and you would be taken to uh, this print window option now over here you can see from here you can choose the printer option that is attached to your system you can also check its properties from here and by simply clicking on ok the first print that is only the first print would be printed after checking the first print if it's ok then you can come right over here into finish and merge option and click on print choose all the records press ok and all the envelopes would be printed out in nota let me again cancel it go over here and i'm gonna click on individual documents let me click on all click on ok and there you can see envelopes with different addresses have been made in no time simply scroll down and you would see all the envelopes with different addresses are right there in front of your eyes you can also create all these envelopes using this particular option that is step by step mail merge wizard simply click over here and use these options i have already made a video the link of that is in description you can use that to see how we can use this particular option so that was it for today's tutorial i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching